Welcome back. The third Republican presidential debate set for Miami this coming Wednesday. Former President Donald Trump again likely to hold his own rally instead of showing up on stage. But candidate Nikki Haley is getting ready to walk back out there as she rises through the ranks on the campaign trail, due in no small part to her previous debate performances. CNN's Jeff Zeleny has the story. Nikki Haley is having a moment in the Republican presidential race. Who has decided who they're going to be with? The question is whether she can turn it into a winning one. That's precisely what Haley was trying to do in New Hampshire, working to solidify herself as the leading alternative to Donald Trump. Handshake by handshake, table by table, the former South Carolina governor is making her case in increasingly urgent terms. So we're right there, so it's just about getting as much support as we can. We have a country to save. Yes. We have a country to save. With the former president still dominating the Republican primary, Haley is focused for now on the race for second place, rising through the ranks in the narrow lane of anyone but Trump. She has settled into a solid second in South Carolina is battling for runner-up in New Hampshire, and is locked in a tie in Iowa with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis polls show, with Trump holding a commanding lead in all three early voting states. Her numbers are moving, surging. There is I, I, One thing I know about uh, politics is there is such thing as political momentum. I think she's built a lot of political momentum coming out of the first and second debate. New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu is keeping a close eye on Haley as he decides which Republican to endorse. The third debate next week, he believes, could be a turning point. Haley and DeSantis are on a collision course, a preview of which has been playing out in dueling ads from their respective super PACs. Governor Nikki Haley helped the Chinese company set up shop five miles from our base. On land, she gave them. Ron DeSantis, he's lying because he's losing. Heidi Mahoney is a Republican ready for change. She considered DeSantis, but is sold on Haley. I think she's, she's tough. I think we need that. I think we need her strength. Mahoney concedes it's an uphill battle persuading Republicans to move beyond Trump, but she says Haley has the best chance to win back the White House. Haley is campaigning with an air of confidence, eager to weigh in this week on The Daily Show about whether DeSantis wears lifts in his cowboy boots. I've always said don't wear them if you can't run in them, so we'll see if he can run in them. Yet she strikes a dead serious tone on foreign policy challenges like Israel and Ukraine. When you look, there's an unholy alliance. It's Iran, Russia, and China. And let me tell you, I've never been as worried as I am today that America is acting like it's September 10th all over again. And we better remember what September 12th felt like because we're there. She's embracing the momentum, but told us her defining moment is yet to come. My moment will be on Election Day. Jeff Zeleny, CNN, Nashua, New Hampshire.